Welcome to the Triple Play Talk Show. We're going to be discussing a very, very popular topic at the time. Uh, Josh Hamilton has officially been traded to the Texas Rangers from the Los Angeles Angels, and uh, we're going to discuss it today. So, I'm Nate Olson. I'm Grayson Sabias. And I'm James Grove. Well, as we said in the intro, Hamilton to Texas. Do y'all see it coming? And what is this going to do for an ailing Texas team right now? I mean, I said it when the Angels originally came out with their statements that were kind of, you know, against Josh. I said, man, I can see them getting rid of him, and I want him to come back to Texas. I, I mean, you can go check my Twitter account. Mm-hmm. I said it on there. Um, but I didn't, at the time, I didn't really believe it. I was like, all right, you know, whatever. He's going to come back, and they're probably going to keep him. But then as it started to get closer and as more stuff started to develop, I was like, man, this could actually happen. I started to hear the rumors and everything. and It was just really wishful thinking at first mm-hmm. because I know I was the same way. So. Yeah. Grayson, I know. Uh, you know, I honestly thought he was going to end up getting cut eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, I thought he was going to get cut. Um, but him getting traded to the Rangers is a win-win for both sides, really. Yeah. Uh, Josh Hamilton, he had the opportunity to go to an NL club. Um, some say it was the Dodgers. Uh, for the Dodgers, I've heard Arizona. I've heard Arizona too. Yeah. So uh, I don't, nobody actually knows who it was, but, but either, he beat him. That's he, all that matters. Either way, he beat him. Yeah, yeah. He he wanted to come back to Texas. He wanted to be home. And he gave up what was it? Six million of his six million yeah. back to the Angels to come to Texas instead of another ball. Because of the state taxes, because we uh, there is no state taxes here yeah. for that kind of contract. Rangers are only paying six million in his contract, mm-hmm. and the Angels are saving twenty million. So I mean, well. But to say it's a win-win on both sides, I feel like the Angels are getting a very bad deal here. I feel like the owner is just like, all right, let's get rid of this guy. I don't want him anymore. I signed him, but you know that was a bad idea, so I'm just going to pay him off basically to go away. But I feel like to pay him to play against you, that's going to backfire too because Josh is going to be oh, really? even yeah. more motivated when yeah. he plays the Angels to just kill it. But does he have the same stuff? We really don't know. We do know one thing, though. Him in Texas is good for his addiction. And good for him as a person. To get rid of his addiction, not good for him. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. To get rid of the addiction. But what really gets me, guys, is how quick he was cut. Or how quick he was traded away. How quick he was dealt away. I mean, they didn't even give the guy a second chance to, you know, showcase his abilities. Like, hey, maybe I can come back from this. And maybe I can be the player that you guys have wanted me to be for the last two years. Because he hasn't had such a great, you know, past couple years with him. Which, uh, you know, I think they just wanted to completely cut ties, which really just shocked me, you know. I guess they felt like they gave him all the chances that they needed to. Uh, but I just, it's, it just really caught me by surprise that he didn't even get a chance to show himself this year after all this controversy. That, mm-hmm. you know. And when he got introduced to the, with the Rangers, um, he even said that he could have he played this year. He could have already been playing this year. They but the Angels, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They wouldn't let him. And that's just, that's unprofessional and ridiculous. So I don't know what the Angels were thinking. I just really feel for the guy, man. And then Socha came back a couple days ago and said that uh, he's really disappointed on how Hamilton didn't thank his teammates for all the support. And then he also said that the Angels as an organization supported him in every way possible, which just blows my mind after all the comments that they said. Like, really, like, you're going to try to... You're going to try to cover it up, man, but we know the truth. Yeah. Hamilton even said it himself. Hamilton said, I had no idea what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. And then he said the same about the comments at the press conference when he got introduced about Artie Moreno mm-hmm. and the whole, you know, how uh, it defies logic he didn't get suspended. It's so it's such a bad situation. I'm just really glad that Hamilton's getting another chance in Texas. Mm-hmm. You know, It's going to be good. He's going to, get, he's going to get help. He's going to be clean, and I think it's going to be really, really good for Texas baseball and, and Hamilton. Definitely. I mean, last comment here, guys, real quick for me is uh, Mike Young, Beltre, Andrus, Lewis, uh, all these guys. Yeah, Colby. Uh, I'm not, familiar faces. Dude, it's familiar faces. These guys are going to get better because he's around. Yeah. Even if he is hitting 215, all these guys are going to instantly get better. And it's because it's just the atmosphere it brings back memories. Exactly. Even yeah, even his presence in the lineup in that clubhouse, I feel like it's going to yeah, it's definitely going to give the Rangers a boost. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, that's Josh Hamilton. That's our opinions. Uh, that's what we think is going to happen and where we think the Rangers are kind of heading because of Josh Hamilton. Let us know what you think. Uh,
Thanks for watching, guys. Again, follow us on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, our Twitter is the Triple Play Three, and Facebook we're the Triple Play. I'm Grayson Sabias. I'm Nate Olson, and I'm James Grove. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.